Recently, I helped some friends take a trip to Cancun. They were on Southwest Flights, an all-inclusive Hyatt Resort, all for free using points. And I'm gonna show you how you can take the exact same trip. So this trip is centered around three primary ecosystems, Hyatt, Southwest, and Chase. And honestly, you can even just start out with Chase because if you're familiar, Chase has transfer partners that when you earn ultimate rewards points through their cards, you can transfer out those points to various partners, two of which are Hyatt and Southwest. And so it all starts with Chase, and this is exactly where I started for my friends. They were not familiar with the credit card reward game. I mean, they kind of were, but not to this degree. And so it was an easy recommendation that they jump in with a Chase card, specifically the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Now, when I recommended this card to them, the Chase Sapphire Preferred had an 80,000 point welcome bonus, which was an easy recommendation. Even now, it's back to its normal 60,000 point welcome bonus. I can still recommend this card. It probably would be one of my top recommendations. Obviously, that's uh, you know, taking in your credit score into account, so your mileage may vary, but I will put a referral link for it down below. With 60,000 points right out the gate, you're on a really good start to earning enough points to do a trip for free. Now, my friends were running a two-player setup. Now, I don't know who originally coined this phrase. I first heard it from Ask Sebi, and so uh, I'll give him a shout out here. I would highly recommend his channel. His content is awesome, so make sure you check him out. But a two-player setup is really, really simple. It's just you have a second person that you're willing to pull your points with and basically stay in a hotel room <laughs> together with. So uh, for me and my wife, obviously a spouse is a good person to run a two-player setup with. But to be honest, you can do it with any friend or anyone that, again, you're willing to pull points with and you know, stay in a hotel room together. Also, running a two-player setup, it allows you to have access to more cards because both people can ultimately get the same cards, which gets you more points and allows you to take more trips. So this is exactly what I was recommending to my friends. And so here's what we did. So there were four steps that I wanted to walk my friends through. The first one was player one applying for and getting the Chase Sapphire Preferred. They were gonna get 80,000 points, like I said, plus an additional 4,000 points after minimum after they did the $4,000 in spend. So player one immediately right off the bat was gonna earn 84,000 points. They then would refer their spouse using the referral link generated by Chase, which at the time was a 20,000 point referral bonus. Now it's only 15,000 points, but they would refer their spouse or their player two, and then player two would then apply for and apply for the Chase Sapphire Preferred and earn the welcome bonus as well. So if you take the 84,000 points from player one, the 20,000 point referral bonus, and the 84,000 points from player two, you immediately ended up in this place where they had more than 188,000 chase points to use towards a trip. So if you were to do that exact same setup right now, obviously I already told you that the welcome bonuses are lower and the referral bonus is lower. So it'd be 60,000 welcome bonus, and I believe right now it's 60,000 points after 4,000 in spend as well. So you're looking at 60,000 points for player one, 15,000 points for the referral bonus, 60,000 points for player two, and then also you got 4,000 in spend for player one, 4,000 in spend for player two. At minimum, those are gonna be worth 8,000 total points. So right now, if you did that exact same structure, you could net 143 thousand chase points from a two-player chase sapphire preferred welcome bonus setup but you do have some other cards you could consider for a trip like this you have the chase hyatt card which right now has a welcome bonus of thirty thousand points but then they also are giving you 2x back on up to fifteen thousand dollars for a six month time period meaning that this card even with a 95 dollars annual fee uh, you could immediately earn 60,000 Hyatt points within the first six months of owning this card. And one note on that annual fee, my wife and I both have this card. The card earns you an annual free night certificate, which could easily be worth between $200 and $300. And so it's well worth, it's definitely a keeper card as I would call it, because every year I feel like I get value out of just owning this card despite the annual fee. So again, your mileage may vary on that, but for me, I highly recommend it. 
Some other cards you can consider for this trip are the Chase Southwest cards. I have another video about Chase Southwest cards that I will link here. But right now, all three of their cards are running a special promotion through March 13th of 2023 where they will earn 30,000 points as their welcome bonus, but also you get companion pass for a year. This is after 4,000 in spend in the first three months. If you're not familiar with companion pass, it is one of the greatest travel hacks in the game today. It's basically buy one, get one for Southwest. And so you get companion pass for an entire year, which gets you buy one, get one flights for you and your companion for that duration. My wife and I had this a few years ago and we were able to take trips to Dallas, Cancun, uh, the Grand Canyon, and multiple trips to Florida, I think, and it was an incredible, incredible perk. So I'm gonna leave referral links to both the Hyatt card and the Southwest card down below. This is an easy way to support the channel if you're interested or considering these cards. Greatly appreciate it. But these are all cards that are gonna earn you or net you points in the three ecosystems we were talking about that will allow you to take this trip to Cancun. And so, let's get to it. I wanna talk about my friend's trip because they were able to go, I think they went for five nights, uh, all inclusive at Hyatt Zalara Cancun with round trip flights from Pittsburgh to Cancun. And so I wanna look at something extremely similar. Again, the points are lower if you were just doing the Chase Sapphire preferred two player redemption setup. But here's what I found. This trip was between Sunday, September 3rd, 2023 to Friday, September 8th, 2023. So this will be five nights at this uh, resort. You were looking at this trip would cost you a total of 139,942 points. So it was 27,971 points per person for the Southwest flights. Those did uh, include some taxes and fees, about a hundred bucks per person. And then the Nights at the actual resort were $21,000 for a junior suite. Unbelievable value for 21,000 points. And so for five nights, round trip, Pittsburgh to Cancun, like I said, 139,000 points is going to achieve this. If you look at the cash value of this exact trip, you're talking $1,840 for the nights at the hotel, $1,000 for the flights, so a total cost of $2,840 for this trip if you were paying cash. And so if we just do a little bit of math here, where I'm gonna subtract out the taxes and fees costs from the, the points redemption option, brings us to around 2640. And when you figure out how much value am I getting per point for this trip, the math works out to be roughly 1.9 cents per point. So for those points, you're getting 1.9 cents per point in value. And if you're not familiar, this is an above average redemption. I'm gonna uh, link to a Points Guy article below that talks about their evaluations for all of the different ecosystems. But on average, Hyatt points are roughly worth 1.7, Southwest points are roughly worth 1.5, and so you're getting 1.9 cent per point with this exact trip that I'm talking about right now. And if you expand this, if you do the Chase Sapphire preferred redemptions with a you know, two player model, maybe you also get a Southwest card, maybe you also get a higher card, you could easily do a seven night trip to Cancun at the Hyatt, again, at the Hyatt Zalara Cancun all inclusive resort. And so this is just a really, easy example of how to use for my friends just two cards to do a five night trip for them in Cancun, all inclusive, round trip flights, all for free. And I think you can do the exact same thing. So the question is, when is your trip to Cancun? Well, you might not be going to Cancun, but maybe you're going somewhere else. And so here's what I need you to do. Drop a, a comment below. Tell me where you're planning for your next trip. I would love to help you figure out how to get there for free. And if you wanna see another example of a trip uh, my wife and I did for free, I just put up a video about how we went to Europe for 10 days for free, so you can check that out here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.